guys, Ginger Cook here. Wow, we have internet today, so we, we, we missed yesterday because our internet was down the whole day. We get take that so much for granted, but today we're going to be doing a really cool acrylic painting. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that in a minute. Also, uh, someone from our live studio audience will have the opportunity not only to win that painting, but uh, we'll do another drawing for a Salvador paint set, which is really cool. And um, we're going to tell you some, we're going to show you some fun, fun, uh, Academy tutorials coming up and all kinds of great stuff, so stay tuned. Ginger Cook, the queen of color, with a blazing brush at the speed of light, and a blank canvas, and a hearty yes and yes. The queen of color, Ginger Cook, and her sidekick, John Little, teach you to paint with acrylics. Well, well, look at what you've got. What is going on? Look at the, look at the pretty palette. Yeah, look at that. John, we have, thanks to uh, one of our viewers named Elizabeth, um, we have, she painstakingly, created the labels hey, thank you for thank these. you thank you thank you and then we have that you so you have the number of the salvador paints because some of you asked about this and also the color okay as so them both as them both okay so i haven't put them all out but i put the ones out i thought i would use today now we're going to tell you how you can get your free template for these avery labels and where to get them a little bit later on in the show so it'll be perfectly free but you'll have to uh, it'll be on one of our websites. So John's going to one of our many websites. One of our many websites. <laughs> John's going to explain that. But with Elizabeth, this is Ubers of work. You you are a sweetheart. And we can't. So and we're going to take care it. of you. Yeah, so, uh, gee, we've got a nice surprise for you. So, uh, in fact, uh, in fact, you should write us and t say what was my surprise. Ginger <laughs> said I had a surprise coming. So you got one, darling. So. Um, so, because we so really make a note of it. I'm not gonna, I can't leave it that big through the whole show. I don't think. So, if if you're if you're want, we're not going to talk about these colors anymore. They're just going to be here. So, make a note of that if you want. Um, if you come back and watch the video, freeze it here and write these down if you want to. You can kind of. They're pretty self-explanatory. Yes, but um, you know, there you go. So it looks like you have one. You don't have a color out for it. One of the greens. Oh, here. All right, let me just show you how that works. I don't. <laughs> we we left that out on purpose. I don't have that green in my kit. Oh, is that the one that you that you used and stole from that kit originally? Yeah, it's it's uh, so now you need three fifty eight. So now you want to steal it from another kit? Yeah, it's, I don't have it in here. one of my kits. Yeah, we need it. Three fifty eight. It's called soap green. Three fifty eight fifty. Yep, got it. Okay, so John's gonna get that for me. Yeah, we didn't have that, so that's a good catch, John. I like that green too. Obviously, I've used it a lot, right? So. Yeah, you took it out of my first kit. Now you're taking it out of my second kit. I got a feeling I'm going to be out of that green forever. Yeah, it's a great. <laughs> it's a great. It's a very nice green. Here you go. So here we are. Soap green. That's our nice dark green. Actually, you know, I think I do have that. I think I just put it in the drawer by mistake. I think this is it. Nope, no, that's, that's not it. No. I think I've, I'll find it. I think I remember seeing that somewhere. All right, but anyway, that's our dark green, okay? So now, so th again, these labels are so cool. Thank you so much for that. Um, now you'll notice that uh, I've got a pile of beautifully colored pieces of little canvas here. And um, this is Ginger's pick today. So here's, uh, here's my original still life. And this is our... Um, this is probably what I'm going to do something like this with it, all right? So it's done, you know, we don't necessarily have, the reference photos should be in our academy, the, the Beginner Acrylic Academy um, in the Basic Supporter section, well, hopefully tomorrow, that's what we'd like. But I think <laughs> since you saw that, you can see that this would be a good place to start the background, already sort of a burnt sienna reddish brown color, yes? I could start it with that, or let's just, I've got these in order too, isn't that neat? So there's some browns in here. Here's another one that's not quite so dark, another really nice pretty brown one. They're almost the same. 
I like this orange though. I'm gonna go with the orange, even though that because I'm gonna do the orange. You want some brightness to show through. I want I the can brightness tell. to show through. I kind of like this one though too. Wow, so many decisions. And how do I end, how do we end up painting all these? Well, whenever we have a little leftover paint, John uh, just uh, takes a you know blank piece of canvas, either an eight by ten, sixteen by twenty, whatever the size is, and he paints a background color so we don't waste anything. We're very concerned about not wasting things. The one thing I'm missing, John, is a paper. Um, huh. Uh, I don't see that's how that's even possible. I think I want to. I want to just ex show you the difference. I'm only going to do one painting, but I might do two different backgrounds just so you can see. I, I'm favoring this one, but mostly you, you guys would do this one. So let's see for fun how we would do, how we would get this effect. And let me just put these. Uh, let me have them over here, boss. Okay, hang on. John's gonna take our labels back here. So, thank, thank you. It's just I like to have something underneath that's we paint on the table. So I want to go for this background, okay? But it's a little richer. This is a very plain, crummy paper. So <laughs> it's it's actually richer on my computer than oh, showing absolutely. up there. So let's just put something underneath here. We don't paint on the table. Yes and yes. Okay, I probably can do that, like this. Oh, so we all just do the green one too. All right, so here we go. Everybody's good with that, right? We're going to put that on there. Now, we're going to go ahead and do the background first while we chat and answer some questions. John's going to just give a shout out to our moderators. This is a bright brush. It is a number eight, eight the silver uh, bristle on. It's fairly stiff. I'm going to go ahead and start my backgrounds uh, with our colors as we speak. So if I'm Got on the orange one, I'm going to start with the darker color. And what color is that you're using now that you have uh, a label? I'm going to do oxide black and a little burnt umber. I'm going to come up here and do that. Now I'm going to get a little burnt sienna. Okay. Pretty, pretty. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of that. John, why would some have stereo sound and others not? I would not know. They'd have to see how their speakers were set up, I guess. And then we're going to take a little of this orange color. We shouldn't be. Primary broadcast red. in stereo that I know of. Primary red right there. It's just both speakers should be playing. A little bit of yellow. Got a left sound only. Okay, let me take a look and see. We did have to make a new audio box. Yeah, we just, it's been a challenging week between the internet not going and the um, uh, Now, of course, my table's going to be right about here, so I don't have to go too far with this, but um, let's just see. We'll just keep playing with these colors. That was a little of the Azo medium yellow, and I don't like that. It turned everything, too, with the black. There, now you have it green. on both. I found a setting. So let me know if you have it on both at this point, okay. right now. All right, so Thank I don't you. like this color. I'm going to move it over here to this one. Okay, I'm going to just let that sit for a while. And I'm going to come over here to this one and see how I'm doing. I'm Elizabeth like, is out there. She's Echo 88 is her handle. Oh, Elizabeth, this was so this was such a nice thing, okay? I think I'm going to take a different brush. Elizabeth, what we want you to do is give you a downloadable lesson for your extra work and efforts. Yes. Yes and yes. So, so gingercookondemand.com. Yes and yes. I'm having fun. That's the as of there, yellow medium. The sound. How good am I? Let's take a little bit of titanium white, see what we can do. Okay, I'm having fun with this, you guys, because yeah, this we're is sorry. all about la la layering. Oh, I really like that reddish one. Yeah, me too. I'm not liking this one yet because I put some black on here and I don't like it. So that's well, okay. Well, you can fix it, right? It's yeah, acrylic. Yeah, let's actually fix it. So let me just put this down for a minute. Absolutely can fix this. Let's take a little bit of the... Hey, we'd like to thank the moderator for being here this evening. I know we have Steffi, Judy, and, 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 I'm not sure. Let's take Steffi some and Judy are the ones that are blabbing the most. Yeah, okay. So, uh, you know, we want to make sure that, uh, you know, this kind of, you guys, we're going to try to, you know, answer art questions. So, you know. Um, so, Art, if you're out there and you have a question, be sure to ask it. Yeah, if you have a question, Art, we only, be sure we'll, to ask we'll only it. We're only taking questions from Art today, so. I'd like to answer some Art questions, have people kind of enjoy the show from that standpoint. Um, all right, so let me see what I've got there with this one. Um, 
it started, but it's not quite there yet. This is like my first layer. So it's sort of fun to do these because um, you, you've got to have enough paint on there to... All right, now I know that I want a little bit of this white, maybe a little yellow oxide. We can come up here with that. And uh, I'm going to do a real... I like this. What you When you do something like this, what you cannot have... It's not a patchwork quilt, so all these edges sort of need to be uh, melted into each other. If you have to smoosh them in like that, kind of tap them in, they've got to all kind of tap in there. See that? So here's some, this is some maple gel, and that's sort of pretty. What are you going to do with that? Okay, I want some red with that. Okay. All right, that's an interesting, that was probably early kind of carmine red. I don't like that color for this. Let's try <laughs> magenta. Okay. John, how was your birthday? I had a wonderful birthday, and I'd like to thank everybody that gave me birthday wishes on Facebook group. There's 650, I think. Yeah, it was so sweet, really. And I'm sure I did not reply and smile to every single one of them. The boss said, get back to work. And that wouldn't be this, the queen, that was the stuffy staff. Yeah. Well, we have a lot, we've had a lot to do over the last week, even though yesterday we missed a live show, we kept filming. We're going to show you some of the marvelous tutorials we've oh, got coming up. I'm telling I've got you. A, I've got a new cat named Hyathens, and she's my... Um, it started off as Bo, but she changed. Got, um, when I saw her, I thought, she has to be named Hyathens, yep, which is sort of we're an done English with name. But John didn't want to do it because he wasn't sure how to spell it. But uh, <laughs> I still don't know how to spell it. I have to, he wasn't real I have to ask sure. my girl for that one. He wasn't real sure how to spell it. But see, now, see this background sort of coming out now. See that? It just took a, took me a little while to work work it out, right? Nancy wants to know, how do you get your painting to look 3D versus flat? Uh, by shadows, lights and darks. The shadows. Since everything is lights and darks. Um, what, I'm going to do this on our website, too, but I'm going to do a whole thing on perspective. But while I'm painting this, I want to throw a challenge out to you. You uh -oh. guys, how many of you guys are sitting home? Probably all of you, right? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, are we are sitting home right now, or yeah, right this minute. Well, it's just in the end. So, well, some are probably in the grocery store. We've had those before. Um, okay, so um, just your home. Let's just let's go with your home, right? Now I'm going to put a little of this gold here on the bottom, and uh, I'm going to say there's my my table right here, like that. Yes and yes. Looking good. All right, so I'm going to say that's the background for this. We'll just let that dry, okay? And then we'll come play with this one. So anyway, so you're home, right? Yes and yes. And um, now what I want you to, now I'm going to ask you is this. Um, can, you've got a shoe handy. A shoe? A shoe. I have a shoe on my foot. Like a shoe on your foot. Take it oh, off. That's handy. A shoe. Get, grab a shoe. Okay, I got it. Okay. And then if you've got a pillow, say, from your bedroom, a nice, nice, uh, you know, pillow that you sleep on. You got one of those? Somewhere? Okay, yeah, I got one of those. You can go get one of those. So Quick I, I run, got a shoe and a pillow. You got a shoe and a pillow. Can't beat that. Right? Okay. Can't can't beat that, right? Now you got your shoe and your pillow. You can hold them both up. You gotta look at them. Hold the shoe, right? Yeah. And um, hold the pillow. Got okay. it. Now, which is bigger? Which is bigger? Mm hmm Well, I grabbed a small pillow. I want the I want you the regular you know oh, plain well, the pillow. Oh, well, the shoe 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 is smaller. Yeah, don't want the small pillow. I want a large. I want the nice large one that comes off your bed, your king size pillow, whatever it a is. A slipper king. would work if you have a slipper instead of a shoe. Yeah, a slipper would work. Okay. All right. So. so but basically, we we can all agree that the the pillow, the is, pillow is larger than the sh the shoe. Yes and yes. So I, I rather the pillow is larger than the shoe. Yeah, that's we've all decided that's true. Yes. So now the question becomes... The pillow is larger. The pillow is larger than the shoe. Everybody goes, geez, Ginger, thanks so much. But um, yes, we, of course we know that. Let's see, I want uh, three... Let's see, what number I want in here? 346. That's handy. I have that right there. Kind of use that color up, right? See that? All right, so the pillow is larger than the shoe. And so now I want you to take the shoe... In, uh, uh, hold the shoe in your hand, but I want you to go first. I guess you can put the shoe down. Go take the, <laughs> go take the pillow and put it across the room for me. Okay. So you've taken the pillow and you walked it across the room. I don't know. Look at the other side of the room. Other side. There it is. It's okay. sitting down there. Sitting down there, right? 
Now, I want you to hold the shoe up in front of your face and kind of look across at that pillow. Now, which is bigger? Well, the shoe's which, bigger. And why is that? Yeah, the shoe's bigger. Give people a chance to answer oh. that, John. Oh, sorry. Um, because I want you to think about that. Why the shoe's bigger? Yeah. So, um, so what we've what we've come up with, right, is that this is how people say, you know, how do you get three dimension in your landscape, in your paintings? The farther things are away from you, they appear smaller. Now, I mean, it's really very obvious with the shoe in the pillow, but that's the same. So if you have six cows in a landscape and they all look the same size in the photograph, but you want one way back by the barn and you want one kind of closer to the bottom of your canvas, what has to happen to those cows? They can't be painted the same size because the one that's going away has to be smaller. So I don't think, you know, I think that's one of the, believe it or not, that's one of the major mistakes that I see. That's called, a pers that's a little perspective tip uh, that I see all the time in people's uh, landscapes is they, they, they paint things that uh, can't be. All right, I kind of like this background here myself. This one with the, you know, we had a little, we started with the dark. I think I kind of like this one. I like pretty much this one, and this one's not bad. They're very similar when I'm done, aren't they? Very close. They're very close. So you can, you know, you could... Can't really tell too much difference, really. Can't really tell too much difference, can you? Nope. All right, so on that happy note, I'm going to dry this one, and um, paint my stuff on it. Do you have something you could share about how they can get the labels, John, while I dry this? Not while you're doing that, but I can certainly play a, a, a calming... All right, do that. Can you play some calm for us? Yep, coming up. I got no idea why that why that freezes on the first startup. All right. That's all right. All right. So a little calm for you. A little calm, right? We like it. All right. So. Um, Let's do this. I'm gonna just uh, go ahead and. Uh, You're just gonna be doing the one canvas, right? Just doing the one canvas. That's okay. right. Just doing the one. Okay. Because I want to rearrange the canvas. desktop here a little bit. All right. Alright, so remember this has got two books and a vase of flowers and flowers around it. Yep. That's what we're... If you haven't had a chance to push that thumbs up right now, we're going to have a pause in the action, it might be a time to do that. But if you haven't subscribed, please think about doing that as well. If you want to know when we go live, press that little bell and notifications will come up and say they've gone live. Or anytime we post something. The background is not completely all dry brush. It was towards the end though to get all your blending. Y yeah. There's just... a lot of layers. Yes. Yeah, if you came in late, you're going to want to rewind and and watch that kind after how, the show. Kind of watch how we did it, right? Yeah. 114 degrees in southeastern Arizona. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I hope know, our I cooling to, commercial helped. I went to um, school at Judson in Arizona, in Arizona State University. And I'm well aware, and this was a B BA before air conditioning. <laughs> okay.
FBA. I like that. You know, and if you, you know, if it, you know, we lived in a time. I mean, we, you know, people, people. When I grew up, uh, you know, the, the, we didn't have air. Con of course, Washington State wasn't so hot then. There's such a thing, but we didn't have air. We didn't have. Uh, uh, we did not have like air conditioning in the house. We didn't have a ceiling fan, man. I mean, nobody had anything like that. I mean, just the concept of a ceiling fan was so cool to me when I first heard about one. I'm going, no way. There's such a thing as a ceiling fan. I absolutely love that idea, right? And uh, let me just pull this up a little tighter here, like that. This is a little tighter here. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with the with the books. One of the things you want to remember when you're doing something like this is you want to make sure that this line is straight up and down parallel to the top and bottom of your canvas. So if you're not sure, that would be the time to to do that. You can use your straight edge to paint that in. How, how can I do an acrylic painting make it look like an oil painting? Huh. So watch our videos. Yeah, I'd say watch our videos. Because that's what we do. Now, if you're talking about you want it real thick textured, not oil, all oil paintings are thick textured. If you want it really thick, te thick textured, then you've got to watch our videos, too. We'll show you how to do that if you want to have it thick textured. But there's... Yeah, we got a few that have done that. Well, quite a few, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You want to have it thick textured. Hey, we'd like to thank Andrew for the donation that came in today through the PayPal system. Thank you very much, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Thank you so much. I hope you're staying cool and staying healthy out there. I'll tell, tell you what, Andrew, it's, uh, um, it, it's, we're, I'm feeling really glad that, you know, if we had to lose something, we didn't lose the air conditioning. It was just the internet. <laughs> Yesterday we didn't have any internet. Um, uh, you know. Um, he, he wrote in and says, we, um, we're doing okay in Haiti, haven't traveled in forever, and it's hot as Haiti's here in Haiti. Working on a painting that I'll send in for a pack very soon. That's personal art coaching. Stay safe and well. Thank you very much, Andrew. And we Appreciate will do that. that very much. Very kind. I'm glad you're glad you're kind of painting it. I know it's kind of tumultuous. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is a family show. <laughs> Tumultuous in, uh, Can you in spell Haiti that? right now. Can I do what now? Can you spell it? Tumultuous? Yeah. No. <laughs> That's silly, man. Of course I can't spell it. You know, we used to have a rule if you can't spell it, you can't say it. Well, we'd all, I'd just be saying, duh, yeah, <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'd just be saying, yep. Yeah. I had a friend, this is so funny, I had a friend, and we had gone to France together to paint with my daughter Cinnamon's. Back in the early ninety, uh, early two thousand, and um, my friend had grown up in uh, in Louisiana, and uh, and her grandparents were Creole, and so they spoke a little sort of Louisiana French, and my friend Kathy always felt like you know her French was, you know she had the right French, right? Didn't matter what the book said, she had the right <laughs> French. Just just ask her, okay? So we had we had luckily made friends with this lovely French couple that was like like kind of in my age, right? They had kids Cinnamon's age and they were so nice. I'm just just the nicest family. And uh so uh Kathy uh she she kept she, whenever they'd ask her anything, you know, she'd talk with her French and she'd go, woo, 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 woo. And so my friend said took me aside, you know, Claude took me aside and he says your friend Kathy, she all right? Does she realize what she's saying? I said, "What do you mean?" She says, "She kept saying woo." I said, "Yeah." She says, "It's like saying yup in your language." <laughs> oh, <laughs> just, I love it. You know, I just, you know, you don't think of other countries as having. Well, I don't know why you don't, but I don't think of other countries as having sl slang, right? That's funny. Well, it was sort of funny, right? Donna would like to say thank you, Ginger, for teaching me so much about paint pigment makes all the difference. It does. That's a yes and yes. Yes and yes. It makes a difference. And, you know, the, the, it came out the other day. I mean, somebody was talking about um, oh, the difference. You know, 
uh, but but the but guy from Matisse, the guy that uh, one of the owners of Matisse, that was at Jerry's Artorama one time when I was still working there, and um, and he he was saying that every all the paint manufacturers pretty much there's like this central place where they get the powders, the pigments, the powders that go into making paint. Basically, all the raw and materials. Just everybody gets the raw materials for that, and then it's their formulas, their secret formulas that allow um, you to. Um, you know, put that together, okay. As far as uh, as far as what um, uh, you know, how you know how how well your paint covers, and some of those pigments are wildly expensive, which is why, for instance, a if you look at um, on brands of paint, say like um, professional grades of acrylic paint, you'll see the red has a higher number than say the brown or the white, because the pigment to make it is more expensive. Okay. So the real difference comes in in the polymers that they end up binding and the binding yeah, agent. Yeah, binding. How well they bind it and how much pigment they use, and their formulas. And these are carefully guarded secrets. They don't just uh, pass this around and just tell everybody how they do it. And uh, the, the acrylics were invented. Um, the story goes that I heard may not be true, but I've certainly heard it and believe it. The um, there, what can I say? I, I've heard it and believe it. This. There was an artist who was an oil painter, and because, it, you know, oil paints give off uh, a lot of fumes, particularly when you're talking about their, um, um, the cleaning fluids to clean it out, and certain, paint certain, thinners. their paint thinners, and all their, their solvents, all their solvents and all that stuff, and then plus they take a long time to dry. So if you're going to do oil painting, it is strongly recommended that you have a good ventilated, uh, area to do it, uh, you know, so probably your bedroom isn't the place, right? So anyway, the, t the guy had been playing with them for so many years that he had developed a severe allergy to the oil paints that were, and he couldn't paint with them anymore. So then, you're going, oh no, what happened then? Yeah, so then, I mean, exactly so. So then, um, was a cliffhanger. cliffhanger was that, um, uh, uh, the, his neighbor, who worked at a at a paint company for house paint that was had acrylics, he was one of the chemists for that, and he thought his friend was so talented that it was a, just a darn shame that he couldn't um, that he was being restricted painting. That's his talent. Should, he says, "I will make you a paint that will act like oil paints that won't kill you." Okay, which you know was a very nice thing to do, all things considered. Yes, yes, yes. You know so. Anyway, that was the beginning. But those early acrylics are nothing like the acrylics that we had have, have today. Nothing. Nothing like that. Which is so very true. Um, the materials we have nowadays. Yeah, you just—they're just not. And 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 so. Um, uh, The, the, and then, for instance, there's a old Holland is a is a, is a acrylic paint that you can buy in Europe that's pretty expensive. That a lot of the really good acrylic paints that are imported from Europe, you know, there's duty and stuff depending on the country they're made in and so forth. And um, but at one point, Jerry's Artorama used to carry a brand called Old Holland, and um, which I think was you know which kind of neat. And um, anyhow, they. Um, um, they had a, an exact match. Their acrylic paint, when it dried, was an exact match to their oil painting. It took them years, their oil paint. It took them years to do that. Um, absolute years to come up with that. Um, I'm now using the soap green, the one that, that was the number 358 that we were all looking for a little, a little while ago. What about the water-soluble oil painting? Well, you know, you've got to go up on the manufacturer's website and see that stuff, right? And see, I'm not saying that oil paints, that, I'm just telling you how oil paints were, how acrylics paints came to be. Yeah. I'm just telling you and it, it, how they came to be. Not, I'm not saying one's better than the other. Don't even go there with me. I'm not going to tell you one's better than another. They all have their uh, uses. But I'm just saying that you need, oil paints need well ventil good ventilation. Or read about them, you know, don't take my word for it. You know, take a moment, kind of read about them and see what I'm saying, because they absolutely do. Uh, 
Okay, so, all right, so we've got, the, so I'm having here with our little books here. I think we're doing okay here. Uh, okay. So let's give you some news. Watch There's a pause in the action from the Queen, right? Sure, you've got some. Okay, the, yeah, we've we got so much going on here. We're finally getting caught up in the world. Uh, the auction pieces are boxed, ready to go, and they were supposed to be picked up by the USPS people today, and that was not done, so I will be delivering them tomorrow. Um, most of them should be received by most continental U.S. people by the weekend. You in foreign countries, we have Australia, Canada, Israel. Um, I don't know. <laughs> the way things are moving... It could literally be months, but we don't we don't know because we don't know there's on no those. airplanes going to these places. So no, no airplanes, the mail no goes ships. to apparently what we've read somewhere, and you can look this up on the internet. Apparently, mails that's going overseas goes up to certain ports where um, there uh, um, the ports where they 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 go on a ship somewhere. Yeah, they get on a ship and they eventually get to you. So all, all the ones that have been paid are going to go out. I have 23 boxes, and literally like 40 paintings are going out. So yeah. they're, they're en route, and the other all invoices have been sent. So we, if you still are a winner, or you don't know if you were a winner, look for an email from me in regards to an invoice being sent to you. Yes, uh, The Baccarat News. This is our community puzzle project. Now that the auction is over... Um, and I'm basically getting caught up on all that. The back rack puzzle will be worked on probably tomorrow. And then the auction color people have not been picked yet, the color contest or the other ones. We, we didn't have the internet yesterday. Couldn't even get up we on the couldn't, internet. We were just, and then once we got it back, we had to scramble to get this set, you know, everything reset back up because when it goes down, as you saw, the sound gets screwed up. Something gets screwed up. So... We will shoot for Thursday's show. That's what Thursdays are for. And then the most exciting news, you need to take a break anytime soon? Uh, a little, little dry-e break to show the apple? Uh, yeah, I'll show that in a minute. Okay. Well, we have, that's coming up. That's coming up. The more exciting news is coming up. What else did we have that we have to talk about? We had the auction, back rack, communitypuzzleproject.com. Hopefully, we'll get more going now that things are calming down again. Um, uh, that, Priyanka, your question will be answered momentarily as well about the new village set. It is available. It is out there in the wild. And we're going to tell you where to find it, too. And we're going to tell you where to find it. We're going to make you hunt for this one. You know, we ought to do that, have a hunting game for a website. <laughs> You're so bad. You're, you're just really terrible. I like having fun games. I can tell that. I'm going to try something fun here for me. Oh. I'm going to try something fun here. I just feel like doing that. These books have a little bit of texture. So let's just see what would happen if I did this. Oh, it has the old wrinkly stuff on it. Yeah. It'd be a little easier if it was bigger, but I like that. It's got that kind of, you know how those books had that old texture on them? It would happen if we did that in a little bit of burnt sienna. Oops, too much burnt sienna on top of that. Well, that would be good. You could do this. You'd probably have to dry in between that so you didn't make it all one color. But, all right, so that's a thought. You know, that would be that would be done with a sponge, probably the easiest way. Do something like that, which is put it on with a little sponge. I want to tap in some texture on these On books. these older books. One of these older books, and I think I want to give them. I'm going to change the color, and they were. Uh, let's see, I want to just. I think I'm going to do. Let's see, where's our green? Let's, let's make these. Let's make the Baccarat Village is a tutorial. Yeah, and that will be released this month. I, I swapped them around with the other one that was supposed to be released this month. I had one person ask me about the uh, Azores waterfall because she's getting ready to do another one. She goes, it's going to be released. And I said, hopefully this week. She goes, I can't wait. <laughs> she goes, I, I wanted, she's doing a moose and something else, one of her own designs. 
I said, great, and I'll swap until next month. So I'm going to do that. The Azores in September, I'm going to do the Baccarat puzzle will be this month. We have two big ones this month, as a matter of fact. Oh, we got some, yeah, we got some great, great paintings this month, you guys. This is sort of fun, right? So, this is, we're just, this is the kind of painting, you know, that when you're doing something like this, that if it were, uh, the painting were bigger, it would be much easier to do, believe it or not, than try to do. Some paintings lend themselves to something a little bit larger. Okay, and there's not real, I would say the light source in this painting is pretty vague and from the, you know, from the photographer, but I'll just pull something this way. On the, on the can here, on this You probably can. need a studio, studio set up so it's yeah, multiple they, lights. They, that can be very confusing because sometimes people will do multiple light sources Sometimes they will do um, um, uh, overhead, or they'll light something from behind, and it may be all very arty, but it doesn't necessarily. Not every reference photo makes a good painting, so if you're if you at you some have to point, know how to adjust. You're going to have to adjust. So I'll say that side a little darker. Okay, so. Um, Let's see, can we do, do something like this now? All right, going to just come across here like this and create a little wood grain on this. On our little box to make it a little bit more interesting. And uh, let's see, what else could we do? This is fun. This color is Naples Yellow Red. I don't know why they think it's red colored, but okay. We'll just pull, we'll just drag a little bit of that across it too. Do um, you remember I said just show one of our pe people's paintings? Remember I said just suggested that? that uh, remember that, that I wanted you to show a painting tonight? Do you remember that? Oh. Oh, my queen, my queen, my queen. I don't want to say the name because they're watching. Let me and see And they're they going to go, watching. oh, they were going to show my painting, really? But then... Wait, wait, wait. I, I can look because I know what I'm looking for. And I have not seen the name. I'm pretty sure that person's here. Just I would suggesting. be surprised. Well, let me see if I can pull it from. Uh, every once in a while, you know, we do personal art coaching in our art academy, and one of the, every once in a while, someone just does a painting that's so outstanding. I just want to share it with you guys. Not that they all aren't outstanding. Come on, you guys, you're all outstanding. But I mean, every once in a while, tr truly, someone does something that's just, you know, kind of going, "Wow, you guys have got to see this. This is so nice." All right. So, I mean, that's, that would be my, uh, I'm going to bring this down. Let's make this a little longer here, this book. Okay. Okay, there we go. So, all right, so we got the two books and this. I'm going to dry this and then put the flowers. Do you want to um, do some show and tell instead? Yeah, maybe instead. Yeah, I'll do a show, show and tell instead. Do you, do, should I do a show and tell instead? Let me just put a blue here. <laughs> line here going up and down on this side of the book there we go that's pretty right just some sort of something a little different than what they had here we go put a blue line where's my green i'll do a light green one here uh, yeah this is what happens when you don't dry everything becomes sort of one color but that's okay that still works all right, so what I want to show you guys is if you like the kind of thing we do with books, if you like books, we have in our academy some marvelous, marvelous books, paintings of books, you know, really a ton of them. Wait, wait, uh, wait, wait, this wait, is wait, one wait, of wait, my, wait, 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 He's going to start backing out. i got to also turn off that guy. Okay, yes. That. Okay, boss. we got th this one right here. I love this with the orange peel. We have that oh, that's one. a great one. This is a really good one, too. Oh, this one the shows crackle this paint. crackle. This shows you how to use crackle paint. This one with the books, if you're liking that. This one with the apples and books, I think, is very pretty. And by the way, this apple painting, I want to mention this one. It's not books, but this is a 
free tutorial on our website, and John will tell you about that in a little bit. That's a free tutorial if you want to see how our website goes. And one I haven't shared in a while. Maybe you guys, look at this one. You back Ooh, up. Oh, we've got to back up a little more. Yeah, look at that. So, that was um, our Father's Day one. Yeah, it's a Father's Day. And look at look, what the wonderful texture on this mug and the, the pipe and everything. I mean, there's probably about 12, but then if you get really back far away, where's our big one? Can you get it or you want me to come over? Well, not the big, big one. You'll have to come get it until I'll show it to you. We've got, this was the puzzle we did, but we also are releasing that, this one this month. And it's um, probably my new Don't favorite. Don't yet till I get over there. My new favorite book one. Um, and it, this will be a, a, what, four cookie less than box of cookies, probably. It's probably box a box of cookies. of cookie, I think. But this originally had been a puzzle challenge, our very first puzzle challenge. I went ahead in 18 okay. by 24 and did the painting. Look at that. This is called uh, Book Lots. And um, you just, isn't this just neat? So if you're, you know, if you like books, uh, Ginger likes books, so we have lots of different <laughs> book paintings, okay? So I love this one, 18 by 24. Um, that's a new release coming in the Academy this month. Eventually. That's a big one to edit. That's yeah, big. Yeah, it just takes John a long time to edit. Try and show them. Uh, yep, bring up, bring up. Uh, okay, old so bow. I got to show you high up this. This is Hyacinth, and this is a. This will be coming to the academy soon. Yes. We don't know when yet. Not here's, oh, here's look at that. Who did that? This is she fun? Who in her painted little, that? With her flower frame, and uh, walking through the frame. So that's Hyacinth. That's our colorful kitty. We have a lot of realistic looking cats, but sometimes she just, sometimes she just want Hyacinths, right? So there's Hyacinths, and uh, so those are just some of the things we've got. Um, that we, we we're teaching, and uh, that are coming up in our academy. There's always when you have over 500 tutorials already. It's easy to see how you could maybe, uh, you know, miss out on a couple, not realize they were even there. Yeah. Maybe some of our older ones. Yeah. Now getting back to the apple. That lesson is called the introductory. Is an introductory level to the our basic back to basic series. And we have created a new website. I know another one, but this is kind of a prelude. You're looking into the crystal ball for what we're proposing to use for our lessons in 2021. You can now sign up and for free and get that lesson as a regular academy type lesson, just so you can see the new format and play with it and give us your feedback on that. Can they download it? And you can also download it for $4.95. It's normally a $24.95 lesson, but for $4.95 through the end of August, you can own it. And you have both available to watch it online or download it at the $4.95 price. And it's a great lesson. It's, um, I don't remember how long, an hour? hour? I think it's just a little over an hour on that particular one. But you'll learn the basic blending techniques. Uh, it's what used to be called a one cookie lesson, and we're trying to go with introductory terminology, introductory, intermediate, proficient. What's the other one? Got written down somewhere. Professional. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we should just stick with cookies. So the lesson I'm talking about is that Apple one that she showed a little bit ago. If you go to gingercookstore.com, it'll be on the home page and you can see it. So yeah. that's gingercookstore.com. And I will put that into the old links here, gingercookstore.com. That's the Apple, back to basic Apple. A lot of you have already have received that in the past. Um, if you want to just sign up again and you know, just watch it online so you can see the new format we're talking about. It's neat. It's neat how, John, we, we, we're, we hear you. Whenever anybody has any questions, I wish your website would do this, or I wish your website did. John's always working on the websites, trying to make them better, maybe designing new ones. Uh, you know, the new technology comes out. He tries to keep up with that. Um, and we're really happy with the way this is working. I've got a couple of people who have signed up for it already. And you can and you can find the um, 
the, the two newest village pieces there. And that, yeah, exactly. So, Priyanka, if you go to Ginger Cook store, that's where they are. If you are an Academy member and you want a discount, you need to email me and tell me which Academy you're in or what membership you have, and I will give even you basic the code. Support, even basic supporters even get basic a discount. Even basic supporters get a discount. Um, what you want to do, a, though, create your account first. And we have two. We have the Salvador labels up there and Ginger's labels up there for free, and that will create your account, and then I can take it from there. Yeah. And okay. if I get a big surge of them, please give me time to get them all together. Please and thank you. Okay. Now where is that person that we were talking about? Is here. Okay, well, you can show her. I'm going to have to dry this since you well, can Well, you're going to have to wait till i I got to get it over here. Well, I'm going to oh, have to, like I said, I'm going to have to dry this. All right, let me do um, this since you're bouncing all over the place. I'm just deciding how I want my bookends to... I just want to see how I want my books to look. Um, I think something like this, you know... Um, I know. I'm curious if the labels are helping too. If you guys find the labels helpful, I wonder if you do. This is just. Oh, John, proficient advanced ultimate. Thank you, Judy. I see. There's a contact form on any of our websites. All of them. Just use one of them. Tell me what you're talking about. Which site you're questioning. And let's see. And line. Almost there, boss. It's all right. I'm going to just, I'm just, I'm still doing stuff here. Trust me on this edge. I'm still doing stuff. Oh, I figured you would be. All right. All right. I've got it when you're ready. So it looks to me like got this multiple light source going on but it seems to me that the lights kind of coming from now I'm thinking it's coming from the left and not the right it's all right it's coming from a couple of different directions y yes if you are a current member in any other site yes you're going to sign up again I know the good news is our goal is to have basically one website for the new year when we're done so what we're doing is kind of testing a lot of things trying to get people's feedback giving you guys a chance to see what's coming up. Like I said, you're looking into the crystal ball. Ginger Cook Store. The other on-demand lessons will be put over there as well. And they're all going to be together. Everything's going to be together. It's going to be really, if I can execute what's in my little brain, you'll be happy. Yeah, it's all. The confusion will go away. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be great, you guys. You're going to love it. Yes and yes. I'm really liking how this is coming out. Well, you know, it's all right. It's coming out here, right? I don't want anything quite that dark right there, but I want a little shadow right there. Here, like Ruth this. would like to know, have you ever used a burnt umber wash to age a painting? Oh, uh, not burnt umber, be raw umber. Raw umber, it would be, to me, raw would be the would one be the to mother use. color. Yeah, raw umber and use that as a mother color. Just if you put a little raw umber in all your paints and use it as a mother color, um, that works pretty good too. Okay? So let's see if we can't just... Um, yes, just one, one website would be a dream come true. I agree. Okay. So, yeah, so I'm have you see, I'm just sort of playing with the lights and the darks here. So I'm going to lighten up this right here. And I'm going to lighten this up right back up in here because I want this to show up. So I want this part of the background to be lighter to see if you, you can control. Somebody says about this, you know, have, you know, you can control the viewer where the viewer is looking by um, where your lights and darks are. So if I want somebody looking more over in this area, okay, 
and uh, here's a little bit of yellow and or that kind of light orange color. Let's try a little white. I want I want something a little beiger over in this area. So you just can you kind of see what I'm doing? I just I want a little bit lighter right there, so I can just so the lights coming kind of coming around there like that. Um, Maybe something a little darker over here, but anyway, so that's kind of where I wanted the light to be right in this area, be pretty light, kind of a kind of a beige color, and there's so many different ways to to paint backgrounds and so many different ways to paint this. So this is gonna be this will be a little bit more of the shadow right here because it's next to the that um, pot. Okay, so all right, so we've got that and. Um, these it's a little harder for me with this brush for some reason to do this but this this area here has to be curved these have to be curved around you know these these the bottom and the top have to match the that's the top of this and the bottom have to match the bottom of the book does that make sense they, they have to curve like this has to curve see so just want to mention that if you're just talking about just doing books. Now the color I want to put out, I'm, I want a bright, brighter pink. Where's my Holbein stuff? It's under H. I just placed an order for my tutorial of the Apple. Once the payment is made, how do I download it? Thanks. Joanne, you just go back into the, your, back to the website and under the menu there on the left where it says my account, at the very top, it says My Tutorials. If you go to your tutorials, you'll be able to see it, what you have purchased, and you just click on that, where it says See More, and you can walk through it. Real simple. It better be simple. That's the whole idea. Okay, so I've got Luminous Rose and White on my brush over this darker purple color, and I'm letting some of the darker purple color show through. See? So... A little luminous rose here, the same thing with this. Sometimes you got to pull out the big guns. Well, sometimes you, you're, you're talking about flowers, you want the bright colors. You know, this is the, I don't have another um, paint that will make that color nope. as effectively as this. So sorry that nobody else that I have found, maybe somebody else makes it, I have not found it. So I want to sit there and say I want these, these flowers here to be on our picture. We know this is kind of simple, I know, but um, it can be fun. So let's take a little bit of the, the permanent violet in the, in the rose. You can mix these. I want a little darker color over in here, and you see how much richer that is when you mix it with other paints, too. So I'm going to say the Do you know which of your book tutorials has the most tips in it? Oh, I think they all do. <laughs> they're all slightly different, so... Yeah, you know, they're... Um, I go by the, the level of complexity and start with the lowest one first, you know, your one cookie, two cookies. Because you've got to get the perspective right on them. Are the lessons still going to be put in the Vimeo? No. Well, Not the, at this time. Vimeo is going to stay there. But we're going to move, eventually everything will be off of Vimeo and over into there, but we'll never take Vimeo down. It'll still be there. Yeah, you always have what we'll you currently have, have Vimeo, but new ones but will just, not be posted the there as well. The new ones will be posted on your site because they're so much easier to get to. We had a lot of people that just couldn't make Vimeo work to save their little lives. They just, too many. Too many people just could not get it to work. Somebody's bouncing around a lot. All right, so you got those little those flowers really there. Those are really nice. Okay. Now, and you're, you know, I'm not sure I like this yellow here, so I'm, I'm kind of with you. <laughs> you did the, um, you had it sort of a, kind of a blue-white, I think. Seems I didn't change like, that. You didn't change it. It is in the photograph, so it's sort yeah. of a blue-white. Let me see if it's I like cool that. It's a cool color. It's a cool color, and I've got it sort of warm. That's too much blue. It's so I cool. won't even try to do anything with there. I'll just put white on my brush because it's dirty, and then I'll make this work. Okay, so I'm just... Sometimes you just have to experiment and see how you want something to look. 
Candy, if you have a problem with your, anybody that has a problem with their password and it's asking you to know your old one and you don't know it, just write me. I will set one for you and then you can change it or you can keep what I give you. I always come up with a nice one. Yeah, there's a little bit of a shadow here. I know, pain, passwords can be a pain in the butt. I agree. Okay, so there we go. So I think I like the... I'm not sure if I like the blue or not. What do you guys think? I don't know if I like that either. I'm I don't thinking. think I really like that. So you're going, well, where did you come up with that? Well, that was in the original. That was just in the downloadable folder. All right, so I don't like yeah, that. Yeah, but they also had a white wall going against yeah, it. Yeah, so, uh, right, so let's... um. All right, so we don't like that, but let's let's let's, let's see. All right, Plan B. Why it's still wet? Sure, because I it's, I can still blend it. <laughs> it's got blue and it. it'll just gray it a little bit. Yeah, it'd be perfect. You know, it'll just gray it. It'll just will warm it up a little bit. Yeah, better. If you yeah. have problems playing the videos on any other tutorials and any other websites, I encourage you to try the new website. Try that free one and see how they work for you. Yeah, there we go. We're trying to eliminate all the issues. Trying. There we go. A little bit of a shadow here. All right, I think I like this sort of off. I like this kind of one right there, right? That's pretty good. Now, now let's see. I've got to put these flowers in. That's next. And um, did you want to do any drying? Did yeah, let me dry this. Let me just dry this. That would be smart. Let's dry that. <laughs> just thought I might suggest it. All right, while she's drying that, I'm going to show you. This is a painting by Jennifer, commonly referred to as JC, one of my personal buddies. Uh, this was from one of the quarantine quickies. A magnificent painting. Did a beautiful job on it. Uh, Jennifer... Uh, Congratulations on a job well done. I like how you got the flowing, you know, the actual, it looks like the breeze is, is blowing the, the uh, homo, whatever it is, the clothes in the breeze. It's really nice. Great colors in it. Um, if you have purchased the downloadable under my account on the website, you will see, or under your account, you will, um, under my account, you'll see my tutorials. Click on that. You may speak, my queen. Okay, so we're back. Okay, so we tried this. All right, that's fun. These are lilies of the, um, what are these? Lilies of the Valley, I think. It's a neat, it's a, it's I have no idea what they are. My reference. People are saying, what are you painting? See, we're painting these little white flowers. Oh, they're like, like baby's breath or something. No, these are the lilies of the valley. Really? I never knew that. Pretty sure they are. I've never been to the valley. Well, that would that that just explains it. So they're little <laughs> they're little dots of flowers that are on the. It, I remember having some when I was a kid. That was a considered a good perfume to give a child. Lilies, a perfume that was made out of lilies of the valley. Probably very soothing. Well, it wasn't a very strong scent. Apparently, yeah. it was cheap. You know, just <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. We always like to see the paintings that Jennifer does. She does some, uh, and she has a lot of her own stuff. And she has a sock folder to the hilt, being a scientist uh, you type got person. To see, uh, you showed that one of Jennifer's, right? Yeah, that's what I did during the the, um, the, uh, the quarantine that just quickie great? one. She did such a beautiful job. For those of you, that was a QQ, that was one of the tutorials we did on QQ and quarantine quickies, and the um, it was in two parts. The second part of it is the next day where I changed the umbrella and because it was bugging me, and I went ahead and, and did that. It, it showed how I changed that on the second one. Isn't that interesting how these white flowers really make it, don't they? They really make a difference, huh? I think you're looking good. You know, this is sort of a you know fiddly little thing. But what are we really learning from this? We learned how to do a multicolored background, maybe a tr triple colored background. We learned a little bit about. Um, you got more than just three colors in that background. Oh, just queen. tons of colors, right? <laughs> yes. We have some. Uh, we learned about putting the flowers. Um, 
This is sort of fun, right? They're just little white flowers. Remember, they're not stars on a flag. These are not polka dots. They're not. This is not Bubbles' polka dot dress. Okay. Who's? Bubbles. 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 Who's Bubbles? Well, Bubbles. <laughs> Back when Cinnamon and I, when she was a kid, we lived in California out on some property, down down Lone Jack Road, and the male people were um, not as familiar with delivering the mail in that area as um, perhaps they were new who knows but they there was a um, we were getting we always would end up getting other people's mail just you know it wasn't even ours and they you know it was so far away it was like you know mail from like two three miles away we'd get somebody else's mail and um, so this guy comes up our driveway a long driveway because we had horses he comes up the driveway and um, he's in a convertible, kind of a Cadillac convertible, and he's got like shoe polish in his hair, and he's in his fifties, you know, <laughs> you know the guy, you know that guy. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they cast him all the time on Tony Soprano and places like that, right? When they're trying to sh show that kind of a person. Anyway, um, uh, and in the back, in his car, was this gal that was probably in a similar age group, but she was wearing this bright. Red and white polka dot. I never forgot this. <laughs> polka dot dress. And it was very tight and she had big boobs and um, that were kind of spilling out. And um, she was a little <laughs> overweight, so the dress was a stretch, just maybe. Though it didn't seem to stretch, it just sort of kind of puckered, right? And uh, It didn't have stretchy material back then. And um, I think they did, but, you know, anyway. So she... she um, uh, her name was Bubbles. That's what he called her? That was her name, Bubbles. This is what, my wife, Bubbles. My wife, Bubbles. Oh, this is Bubbles. Mm. And I'm thinking, yeah, of course she's named Bubbles. The, what else would you name <laughs> this lady? <laughs> sure. And he was very adamant about getting a hold of these postal people and giving them what for, because he wasn't, he didn't want to have to come out all this way. To, he wanted us to complain about the idea of the mail being... Um, Uh, delivered incorrectly. I mean, this this was very upsetting for him, and he wanted us to make sure that we understood how that that wasn't going to fly. I mean, we you know we didn't want the mail. You know, we'd like to get our mail. We didn't really necessarily want his. Exactly so, right? So I had no problem with that. But that did was you guys so have funny. the same number or something? How? No, it just and it, our no. There was no reason why Bubbles and his mail should come to our house that I could see. Just that somebody just decided just wherever they felt like delivering it seemed to me is like what they were doing, right? They uh, they did this um, mail thing, right? Well, I so um, I mean, it was just sort of I mean, it was funny. I mean, I guess you know, I guess, it, but I but they I just never forgot this person because she they they were so stereotyped of what I thought was, you know, they had this uh, sort of uh, Bronx accent, right? When they were talking, you know. I don't know, John. Just, I thought it was hysterically funny. So, as you can see, we're sort of aging the book a little bit up here on the spine. Give it some character, as they say. Yeah, just give it, and then we gotta do a little bit of light on the spine too, because the light's coming from this direction. So we gotta suggest that maybe that's so. If you would like an opportunity to possibly win this in our giveaway, make sure you entree now. The moderators have been putting up links and a secret word. Like I say, this would be a fun painting, actually kind of larger. I kind of like it like it is. But, um... Myself. You do? Well, see, that's going to be my size. That's all I'm going to paint. Six by eight. Okay. Well, they kind of got these aged books here. Um, now, what you could do, and you're thinking like what? What you could do, maybe, if it, you had it a little bigger, you could maybe put a label on one of those books. Okay, so there's the shadow side. See how you, somebody said, how do you get this stuff to look a little 3D? That's kind of one of the tricks. Shadows. 
the shadow nose. Yeah, if you want to make sure the underneath here is round. And, uh, takes a, you know, stuff like this, it just takes a few, it takes a few little bit more layers than, you got to be a little patient little with the layers, because, um, that makes sense to you guys. uh, I, I would say, and I'm just trying to use up the rest of this paint. We got a lot of different colors of paint here. We put out probably didn't need that many, but you never know, right? Could you put some crackle on the books or the vase if you wanted to? Um, yeah, I think you could. I think you could. Sure, why not? If you did it bigger, the crackle wouldn't do anything this size. You're talking that, you need to be, to get that crackle to work, you need much bigger. Yeah, it's got to be a lot bigger than this one. Mm. At least a 9 by 12. I'd probably do 11 by 14. Give you some breathing yeah, room just, on it. Just, it's got to be. Otherwise, the, the piece, the chunk, the crackle will be too, too big of chunks. Yeah. So it won't be fine enough. Yeah, so this is where the... Use the light edge to this book. You can start starting to, you know, you can see where we gotta do if that. If you go on a new website, yes, you have to make a new account. You can use your same information, but yes, you have to make a new account. Yeah. That's what you gotta do. Make Zoe says, change. looking at it looking at it now, Ginger was so right to gray down the light blue table. Yeah, the table yeah, just, it just didn't do it. It didn't do it with what we did to the background. But when you're designing a painting, do it little like this. Kind of see what colors you like and you know you could always <laughs> this is much easier to change than if you're doing a giant big one, yes? Yes. See how we're sort of pulling those bookends together a little bit more than we had them, right? And uh, let's see, we've got a little bit more of this yellow into that red. What a pretty good orange here. I think I want this to be darker here uh, because I guess I want this book to show up. Right here, see? So if I make that darker there, well, it doesn't hurt to know how, you, how you're making stuff. If you've got a light, wherever there's a light, there's a dark. So if you darken this little edge here, then I guess these books, so that's got this little edge right here darkened. And, uh... Gives things to pop out. Yeah, so, I mean, all right, so let's just take a minute and look at the... You know, you can kind of see where the... Wait, 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 wait. Let me back up some scotch. You've got to back up a scotch. You can kind of see where we've got some... The references with the flowers. I think for me, the flowers, I'd like a little bit of the... The green. It's not in the picture, but I feel like you need a little... Green here. I don't think it hurts. You know, to me, anyway. So it's a little bit lighter green. Hey, we'd like, like to thank everybody for coming tonight. We're sorry we missed last night, but uh, it's the way of the Internet. It is. 611 people, 613 people. Oh, no kidding. Thanks, you guys, for hanging in there with us. This is kind of, you know, I think this is kind of, you know, this is kind of, I think it's kind of fun. Kind of fun? Kind of fun. Now, the one thing I've got, the... Um, really interesting. I've got this box really tipped. Do you see that? No, wait, 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 wait. Is it tipped? No, it's not. Why is it not? There's a perspective test for my queen. Well, okay, so it's, it's level here. No, it really isn't. It's tipped a little bit, which it should be. Look at the angle of your back. Look oh, at your left. Yeah, yeah, it's tipped. See? It's got to be tipped. You're yeah. looking at an angle, so it's going to be tipped. You're I right. knew you would do that when I put it in there. Yeah. I'm going to come back this way. No, nope, it's the perfect. the box would come back a little further then. Yeah, okay, we can have it tipped, but just we've got to bring the box back. 
or you'd be doing a different style of three-dimensional painting where you've seen it flat front and then... Yeah, it, it, I, th I thought that the, the picture was one point perspective, but it's not, so we've just... No. Okay, so we've, so we've darkened that, right? And um, I want to darken this area right here, too, where this book is. There, so you can kind of see the, where the spines are there. And um, I'm liking those books a lot better than what was in the photograph. Are you? Yeah. I just, um, when I look at this, when I pull my, uh, this is where tape would have been handy to tape them. I'm telling you what, there's nothing like tape when you're doing stuff like this. Using tape is good, but let's see if we can't. Just can't square it just a wee bit. Just square it up a little bit. Yeah, because that I gotta tell you that was bugging me, and I, let's, let's let's do this one too. I mean, I think it's okay, but I like this light edge there. Yes and yes, just small stuff, right? Kind of old books. Well, what I'm saying is that right here you could possibly put a label. I'm gonna just pull that. Um, where? Wait, 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 wait. Where I'm not gonna put one, but I'm just gonna say I'm gonna get rid of some of this white here so it doesn't interfere with my. Or your flower. With my flowers. Your, uh, what were they? Lilies? Lilies the, of the valley. Lilies they, of the um, valley. Yeah, and if you were doing it bigger, then you'd go ahead and you'd put in the, you know, this, you know, this, you'd do a little bit, um, uh, more thorough job of adding, you know, some stems and stuff. But at this point, we're just impressionism. We're just going to say this is kind of where they are. But you remember when you're painting, you hardly want any paint on this, right? You put a little on the corner of the brush, that's really all you want it. There we go. So there we got a little bit of green there. And I want to wonder if I could what happened if I had a little green in here. That's it, pretty. It, it'd become a ginger painting. Yeah, it becomes a ginger painting, right? A little bit of green right there. Just maybe there's a little moss growing on our wooden piece of wood here. Just dry brush a little green on. Well, you know, green and red are compliments, and you got this reddish orange background, so a little light green, you know, as they say, and as Bubbles would say, doesn't hoit. <laughs> it don't hoit, right? You have a little bit of that, right? But there, see? So I, I think a little bit of green add, adds a lot to that, yes and yes. Yeah, it really pulls it together now. Yeah, okay. Now we've got a masterpiece. Yeah, so that was sort of fun to do, yes and yes. It took a, you know, not too bad. So someone should win this. Let's um, let's move the purple. If we put it here, just, how does it look on the purple all by itself? Well, that'd be blue. That, that'd be blue. Well, it's purpley blue. Well, it's more blue. How do you like that on the green? No, it's got to be on no, the purple. No, it's got to be on the blue. <laughs> This has got to be on the purple. That's not purple. There's no way that's purple. Huh. Not even close to purple. Mm, well, we could argue that point all day. <laughs> but um, All right, so we started off with this. We did. And then, and then we came up with this. John um, and I, well, John and Ashley, we worked the reddish-brown background. We, 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 got we, we all agreed we didn't like the white background. We didn't background. like the white, so we, we knew we were going to do some sort of background like this. We had a couple choices of backgrounds. Uh, this was one we did off a of light orange, which would have been okay, too. This really gold very close. Been pretty, just, the gold would have been pretty, too, but I like the green a little bit. Yeah. Leaving that green. Yeah. And, um, and this is kind of what you do. And... Um, so while you're drawing, I'm, so someone's going to win this, I'm going to sign it. If you back out a little bit, I want to show you a new project I'm working on, too, with the, um, in the Academy. Some of you are wanting to know how to really blend, and you don't, and there's two kinds of blending. There's dry brush and wet, wet on wet blending and dry brush, and I want to show you these roses. Whoa. And again, do you see the background it's very similar to what we did tonight but just not quite so many colors and you see all the blending in these flowers all right Tons and that will be a tutorial coming up so just thought I'd share that with you all right well who won this baby doll somebody here did where are they from 
I haven't gotten that far. I have to see how many I've got first. 315. So 315 have entered? 315 have entered. And we've got a winner, winner, chicken dinner for the first round. I've got to find my sheet now. No. <laughs> Put the red slash through the name. Dot it on. It's going to go to Southern Utah. Oh, wow. Y'all. Can I say it that way? Y'all. Yeah. Southern Utah. Awesome. Awesome. Southern awesome. Utah. So if you're in Southern Utah, you know you are the winner, winner, chicken dinner. So winner to Southern Utah, that, that's kind of cool. Winner All right, so of that's the going there. Books and Flower painting is Karen Yee. Well, congratulations, Karen. Congratulations, Karen Yee. Wonderful. We need your mailing address if you'd be so kind. And. Now for the Salvador paint kits, you got yes. that paint kit there, pull it down, it says a little sample of what we're giving away now. You know, with, the, with the brushes and everything. And, and look you guys, somebody asked about this. The, these, the reason we like these to do on the YouTube, we, do, we use our lot of big paints and the heavy bodies and stuff for big paintings. What you like these is that they're, if you're just new to painting and you need to get on a budget, you can get all the paints you need or you've got a kit or something. For under $25, I think, you know, on, on Amazon, if you go to gingercooklive.gallery forward slash Amazon, is, you know, that's our store. Um, it, it comes with some brushes, that, you know, like 12 brushes. It's 24 colors plus two things of white. And, you know, we think it's a, I like these far better for me personally than any student grade paints. So oh, that, by far. I, I, there's just no, there's no question about it. I still use the, the, the golden titanium white because it's, for me, it has a little more coverage. I think these guys are working on even improving their whites. But in any event, this is really nice. And we did over 70. If you want to know what the colors are like, somebody made the comment the other day that I didn't say if I like these or not. Maybe I was being fishy. There's nothing fishy about this. They do not pay me to say this. We just do this as a courtesy. It's sort of fun for us to do. We bought a lot of the sets ourselves. They've sent me a couple. But, we're, you know, we're not, we don't have any contract with these people. We're just... I love the fact that they let us give something away on the show for you guys because it's, you know, it's nice for us, it's nice for you, and uh, they're fun. But, uh, you know, and, um, and, and you can see it with these labels, again, uh, we, you asked, uh, you know, we now have labels that so you and can see And thank you, what Elizabeth, colors. for that. And we Here's didn't use 353, what, we didn't use 356, 357. I plus. knew it. And we really didn't use 347. Oh, and, 347. Uh, but we used a lot of 342. <laughs> um, so there you go, right? And we didn't really use 349, the permanent violets. So I put those out, probably didn't need to, but I did. So. And just, the winner of the Salvador Paint Kit is Yvonne Amos? A-M-O-S? Yes. Amos? Yes. And she is from somewhere. On planet Earth. Is she? Are you sure? Yep. Oh, she's from Australia. Australia. All right. Down under. All right. Well, congratulations. So it's early in the morning tomorrow. So they already know the future. She already knew she won because she's in the future. How does she do? <laughs> Yvonne, it's old is, news to you. And, and this is the color luminous rose with the whole vine. It's the color I use for these flowers if anybody yeah. wants to know. That's, my that's always back. pulled out. That, that's my fallback, bright pink, right? Kind of pep abysmal pink color, which I really like. Yeah. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, you know. Uh, en enjoyed the show. Enjoyed our show. It's a, it's and, a shoe. Uh, really big shoe. We'll be here Thursday again, because Thursday is our regular time. Let us know. that John's going to be picking something. Write us and tell John what you think you'd like him to pick out, you know. Otherwise, he's going to do it on his own, and you never know what kind of tractor I can find. Yeah, so if I can hang in there, let's find out, and um, we'll see you Thursday. And thank our moderators for, for taking their Tuesday and spending it with us and you guys, too. We appreciate it very much.
Thanks, everybody, and we will see you Thursday. Bye. One of the features that is offered on our website for, and let's try again. <laughs> <laughs> Besides a certificate of authenticity on the paintings, which is really the best feature.